In 2011, me and my best friend saw what we believed to be a living, breathing dinosaur. Some sort of predatory raptor of some kind. We were visiting the Grand Canyon National State Park. And if you didn't know, the park is very expansive. Lots of time to travel. Lots of places to explore and to go to. My friend and I spent many days going all over, exploring as much as we could. At one point, it was late afternoon, sometime between 3 and 5 p.m. The sun in the sky was beginning to set in the evening, but it wasn't quite evening yet, which is why I say late afternoon. We were sitting in this kind of canyon-like area. As we were sitting, collecting our thoughts, talking, and discussing the area we wanted to explore next while upping on some water. My friend pointed out something watching us from the rocks above. I looked, following where his finger was pointing, and sure enough, something stuck out that looked like a large reptile from between the rocks. At first, we thought it was just a misidentification of maybe the environment or surrounding. Maybe from the distance, it was just a large rock that appeared to be a reptile. We both began making comments, saying how weird and out of place it looked, until it moved, and moved very much. Actually, its entire body began to move, and then it moved out in the open, between the rocks. My friend and I got a pretty good look at it. The coloration is very similar to that of an alligator or crocodile, a deep green, except it was closer to black than it was a green, so much darker, very heavy set, very muscly, and almost identical to that of a raptor. And I know this might sound cheesy, but the only dinosaur reference I could think that would give you an idea is Jurassic Park. It didn't exactly look like a raptor from that movie or that series, but you kind of get the idea it looked exactly like some sort of predatory dinosaur, some carnivorous lizard that would have eaten us. This thing wasn't small by any means. It stood on two legs, hunched over, had its arms tucked into its body, and had a very large head. This wasn't a T-Rex, obviously, but it was larger than my friend and I, who were both 6'1 and 6' foot, respectively. This thing stared at us and was maybe 70 feet away, had very piercing yellow eyes and dark skin, like I said. We never really saw much of its teeth, but there were sharp teeth protruding from each jaw, kind of like a way a crocodile does. It just stared at us, kind of showing somewhat interest, and then maybe after 20 to 30 seconds, its attention was immediately shot over to its left, clearly disturbed by something, looked back at us, and then ran off between the rocks in the opposite direction. My friend and I used that moment as the perfect chance to flee, freaking out, not exactly sure what we had just seen. After we spent the rest of the day talking about it and going back to get out of there, we came to the conclusion that we believe we saw a living, breathing dinosaur, something we thought was extinct, but we have no way to actually come to any other conclusion than that. Nothing else fits the description we saw. If it was a lizard, it was sure the biggest lizard, most dinosaur-like looking lizard we had ever seen in our lives. And I'm pretty sure from pop culture and movies that there's only a few things that can remotely look like a dinosaur. And if it looks like a dinosaur, it probably is. So in the past year or so, I've been listening to your show and I believe you have a couple episodes here and there that talk about dinosaur sightings but it doesn't sound like a lot. So, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I thought I would ask your opinion. Is it possible that my best friend and I actually saw a real living dinosaur? Possibly, there might be a small population of raptors living out here in the wilderness of Arizona. I mean, there's plenty of coverage and caves to hide in, but isn't it weird that nobody has really seen one, or at least reported of it? I don't know. I guess it's possible that a small sect of them could still be alive. I just don't know. Hello. I have family 
that live and work down in central Costa Rica. If you've never been there, it's beautiful. If you like hot, humid jungles, there's a lot to see. And it's very similar to ever being to Hawaii, if you've ever been there either. But other than that, I have nothing but positive things to say about my experience, which leads me to my story. I believe that my wife and I saw a living, breathing pterosaur flying in the sky, heading north. We were exploring around in the jungles, not too far off from where my family lives, admiring all the beauty, sights, and sounds. We weren't in the thicket of the jungle, like exploring with machetes and whatnot. We were close by to civilization, just traversing a little bit, exploring what we could, and before us was an open area that led to ocean, where my wife immediately spotted something large flying in the sky and wondered if there are such things as large tropical birds that traverse the country. Upon showing me, I realized even from the distance, the shape was wrong, and it was far too large to be a bird. I mean, if it was a bird, it was clearly the largest bird I have ever seen in my life. Basically, Quetzalcoatl, if you will. When we looked at it, which we had plenty of time because it was taking its sweet time flying across the sky, heading north. It looked exactly like you'd see a pterosaur. Just look up any illustration of a pterosaur. That's pretty much it. Long webbed wings and a small tail right behind it that kind of had a spade shape at the end. A very long duck bill head with even a crest at the top. It was easily hundreds of feet away, but high enough in the sky that gave away everything about its silhouette and shape. We were amazed by this, and talked to several of the locals afterwards. Many of them have also seen the same thing, and they too believe there are pterosaurs that still exist and inhabit the jungles of Costa Rica and other areas of Central America. Talk about incredible. You seem to be the expert on all things cryptids, or at least I hope. For the sake of my sanity, maybe you can provide some answers with what I saw that day. So, I'll give you some backstory. My name is Dean, and I had a pretty rough upbringing on eastern Texas. In fact, even all the way up to my mid-twenties was partying, drugs, alcohol, sex, debauchery, three-day benders, if not more, absolutely out of control. I grew up in a very bad environment, so it just very well translated into my adulthood. Well, fortunately, I had some close relatives who do care about my well-being, and just came into a situation where they could take me in, care for me, and kind of act as my rehab. So, I decided to take them up on the offer, having finally hit rock bottom and wanted to clean myself up. This relative of mine lived around 45 minutes north of Orlando, Florida. So I took a Greyhound bus there and spent almost a year there cleaning myself up, changing my life around. And now, I'm a much better person for it. Even having a dark past, it teaches you a lot of things about yourself. But enough about my background. As I was staying with this relative, they were kind enough to hook me up with a job from a friend of theirs who owned a very small company. I won't give the name or the area, but it was north of where I was living, so I made beautiful morning and afternoon commutes back and forth. One day, I saw something in the wilderness of Florida that will forever make me question what really exists out there. I was driving up there in the morning, heading north, on the Emeralda Island Road, which this entire stretch of road is all marsh conservation area. It's pretty wild and there's a lot of lakes and water around, like Lake Hustis and Lake Griffin, for example. As I'm driving, I noticed a black figure off to the side of my vehicle, running in the brush, keeping low. There are many sections of this marsh land that have no trees, so that means something big was purposely keeping low and keeping stealthy, but enough that I could still see a large shape keeping parallel with my vehicle and even speed. I began to get kind of concerned. What could it have been? I kept looking over out of curiosity, 
and the more I looked, the more concerned I grew, because this thing seemed to be intelligent, ducking behind brush, hiding, but also keeping up with my vehicle, almost crawling at an insane speed. I was thinking it might be a giant lizard, or alligator, or maybe a huge snake. I wasn't sure. Once I drove into certain sections of the road that were covered in heavy foliage, I began to truly see the shape and silhouette of what it was. It appeared to be some sort of dinosaur-looking thing, or dinosaur-man thing. I didn't get the best look in the world at this thing, but I did see the silhouette and kind of shape of it. It did look like it was upright, but also kind of looked like a large lizard-looking thing. Maybe dinosaur isn't the right word, but it kind of had a large dinosaur head on a human-like body. It was very large and very bulky. Think like a 9 or 10 foot tall linebacker, just massive broad shoulders and appearing to have a long alligator-like tail. So maybe I saw an alligator man or something. I mean, I've heard stories, but I never believed it. There's also stories of a skunk ape down here, which is, I guess, Bigfoot. But I've never seen that either, so I don't know how much I believe. But I can't refute what I saw this day. Even though I didn't get the best look at it, because I was driving, and it was keeping parallel with my vehicle. But something large and manlike, and alligator looking like, definitely was following me in my car. For quite a distance, actually. I'm no Everglades or swamp biologist, but I'm trying to think what is that size? What is shaped like a big gorilla or a man, but yet has the head of a large dinosaur or alligator, and a long tail trailing behind it? that is also incredibly fast, enough to keep up with a vehicle, and also duck and keep stealth cover behind brush. A very limited brush, might I add. Nothing comes to mind that I know of, so I either A. hallucinated it all, or B. encountered a cryptid of some kind, some kind that is natural to the Florida swamp area. Did I encounter an alligator man, or was this a half-man, half-dinosaur, even entertaining the idea just seems absolutely silly and ridiculous, but I know for a fact I did see something, and it was far too real to just hallucinate. I've been off drugs for a long time, and have never seen anything or any distortion of shapes or phantoms or silhouettes, even when I was on drugs. So for this just to happen out of the blue, and make the brush and everything else around it move, and to see a silhouette like this, there's just no way I was hallucinating. And pair that with the stories of people that I've heard talk about the alligator man in Florida. I don't know. Maybe there really is something around here. I was hoping that by sharing my experience with you, and hopefully you could share it with your audience, that maybe people would give me feedback and provide me with the truth that there are more sightings and encounters of the same cryptid out there that's either a human dinosaur creature or truly an alligator man that does roam the swamps. Thank you.